All right, so my battery cut me off. So let me just continue. So you got the oil pump on, and then you gotta prep the plastic tank. So you drill half inch hole. I actually went one, barely one bit smaller on the tank. And then you put the rubber grommet in, put a little grease on it, push that in there. Now on one of the fittings, you have to cut it, cut it off. The bottom one. There's. This is the picture shows you where to cut it off, and then clean up any debris. You know, blow it out. Make sure there's nothing in there. You put the hose on with a coil. This gives you room to be able to take it off and on. And then you put the clamps on once you get to that point. Okay, so now I've got the hose on there, clamp on it. We've got this one clamped on so that this just goes in there. That's where you can move it in and out. Now you got to put oil in the tank, you know, just not a whole lot, but you put it in there, and then that's a that right there is a bleeder. So you put oil in, pull that until that fills up full. I guess I should state the oil pump has to go back back in first so put that in get it tight wrapped up and then and then add oil and bleed it all right filled it up got all the air out of the line got the plug back in made a nice mess doing it so now I'll drop the tank all the way down make sure right now the lines are stacked so I got to get that pushed behind the other one there. So now they're not stacked. And then I'll zip tie this. Let you see what I'm doing here. Get that up. And then I'm going to want to hold this up so it's not creating like an air pocket or something. So I'll have to get that tied up in, in some way. Probably just right over right over here to these wires should be enough to keep it keep you know a decent level to it. It shouldn't matter once the air is out of it, but you know it's good to just have everything tied up. Alright, so got the tank in, make sure you put the pin back in. Kinda of, probably don't need that zip tie, but I have another one in there holding that tank line up. Everything else is in there. Put these back in. Now I'll put the toe kick back in. All right, got the toe kick back in. It sits pretty tight against that stuff right there. So I gotta make sure that's not gonna be a problem or bend it out of the way or something. I don't think it is. It should be all right right there. What it might need a bar in there maybe and give it a little more clearance all right got it topped off the oil got the return line on just zip tied that that should be good enough it's not not important if it come off it's just gonna make a mess but it, it shouldn't I don't even think it needs the zip tie to be honest but it's on there the bottom line is clamped so it's good I did bend that with the bar a little bit just to give it a little more room pretty easy so everything is in and tight. So now it's time to install the K-Mod. But that'll be it. Um, I'll I'll rotate the track, make sure make sure that the pulley lines up. I guess I didn't put that on yet. <clears throat> I still got that piece. I gotta put on the holds the belt on. So I'll tighten that up, get that done. And then spin it over and make sure that everything's in line. It does say a quarter inch of adjustment, even hot. So I might have to loosen it a little more, but I'll go run it first and check it while I'm riding and go from there. But I think that's everything. Only thing we got left some that right there and some stickers. So that'll be it.